What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're chatting based on a comment in a live stream. We're chatting about my vocal chain, my go-to vocal chain. I pretty much use the same thing every single time. Uh, one of two things, I guess we could say, uh, depending on the song. If it's more of an acoustic song, like my song, The Wish List or Colorado, I have one go-to chain based off of a chain that I use on more of my like produced songs that are a bit more like pop style vocals. I'm going to show you both of them. Hopefully in like a less than 10 minute video. That's the goal. <laughs> so let's see what we got. Uh, this, let me show you the screen really quick. This is, I'm going to move myself over here actually so that it's easier for you to see over here. Bada bing. There you go. Moving Jacob, flying Jacob. Okay. So this is Colorado. This is the chain for Colorado. I'll actually bring this up so you can see over here. This is the chain. We have, uh, I'll go through these a little bit more in depth. We have um, a EQ, we have pitch correction, we have a compressor, we have a de-esser, and we have my favorite uh, echo with a little bit of reverb on this um, uh, bus. Okay, so here's the, let me just show you what it sounds like. Colorado's beautiful, baby. Every mountain, every view. From Breckenridge to Boulder. So now if I were to turn everything off, this is what it sounds like. Colorado's beautiful, baby. Every mountain, every view. I'm also not running it through the speakers. I'm running it through just the, you're hearing it through like these headphones, like my actual speakers. It's not the best quality just because I have, was having issues with the uh, oh, sound audio. So here we go. So EQ, I take a lot of low end out. Um, take a lot of low end. Uh, because it just brightens up the vocals. I learned this trick right here from watching a video from with Phineas uh, editing Billy Eilish's. If you put this like 75, 8, or 8,000 hertz right here, um, it adds a really nice crispness to the vocals. Now, this is my vocal chain for my vocals. You, you're going to have to edit your vocals differently because your timbre will be different. Your pitch will be different. Um, then I have I usually bump up here, the, the 2K range, and then I take out around here. If you look at my vocals, you can actually see where it's coming through. This is the analyzer. Let's do pre. This is what it, where it's coming in before the vocal chain. Colorado so you see, you have a lot of low end stuff coming through. Now after, you'll see that it's a lot more high end every mountain, every and a lot less low end. So that's what I do. Pit, I use a little bit of pitch correction. You can see it's a really slow pitch correction actually because it's 159. It's not doing much, but it's adding just a little bit of flavor. I like the flavor that pitch correction is. Um, I really do most of my actual pitch correction inside of flex time in Logic. I like the flex time because um, the I like that you can see where it lines up in the beat. Then I add a little bit of compression. I try to keep it less than like four dBs of compression. If I want to compress even more, then I'll try to I'll add like a second compressor. Colorado's see, it's around the four right here. Baby, every Slower attack. I like, I'm almost always using the vintage VCA compressor on vocals, almost always. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of that. Then we have the de -esser. I put a de in all my vocals because I'm pushing so much uh, um, f higher end frequency. Uh, it gives us kind of like really sharp S sound. So here I mess around to figure out where it is, but then I do some uh, DSing to lower that. Oh, shout out to Victor. I appreciate that on the commenting on the live stream saying this is one of the best music channels. Thank you so much. That is a killer comment. Um, so anywhere between like 5,500 to 8,000. Um, and then lastly, on the actual chain, um, I use this all the time. This is my favorite echo. This is the Replica XT. Um, right now I have a slapback echo going on. This was without it. Every mountain, every view. With it. From Breckenridge to Bold. Just a little slapback echo. I like the panning, making it nice and wide. And then, um, I always use, personally, bus one is always vocal reverb. Bus five is always drum reverb for me. I, I use the, the chroma verb a lot, honestly. I, I really like it. Take out a little bit of low end. I usually use the room. But here I'm using the, the um, concert hall. When you put something on a bus, you always put the typically put the wet 100% dry down. And there we go. Uh, let me show you something really quick. Let me go to a different song. I'm gonna show you a song that is um, a little bit more produced. This is my song, uh, Forever Found. Uh, we'll do Forever Found, that's fine. Um, so this is a, an example of something that's a lot more produced, a lot more things going on. Um, and it has a bit more of like a vocal produced uh, sound. So let, let's let's go right into this as it loads up. You'll notice that there's slightly more effects on it um, just because it has more of that pop kind of sound. So if we would go over here, finding my vocal uh, right here, here's what it sounds like. 
Feels like running out of time. Sounds a little funky because it's in a different key now, so but it's out of time. I'm driving ninety five, got something on my mind to tell you. So we have a DS are coming in first actually, reducing around the forty six hundred. Then we have a pitch correction going in over here. This is, has a lot more pitch correction. Um, this has uh, a bit of compression. Now, so on more pop style vocals, I love using this CLA vocals because I like the brighter style vocals for myself. So I use this on almost all pop style. Uh, CLA vocals, Chris Lord Alge is a fantastic producer. Um, I really like the way that this works. I'll like mess around, uh, but these are typically the plugins that I will use. Um, this one being one of them because I've really like listen, listen, listen. This is without it. See the brightness it brings. Um, depending on if I'm trying to go for that more of like Nile Horan uh, slow hands vibe, I use the uh, end verb. I really like this. Is that without it? Gives a really like bright style reverb. Uh, if I'm trying to cut things out, I'll use a noise gate. A second DS are cutting out two different frequencies. One was 4600, this one's at 7300. Um, I'm adding, this is the, uh, actually I skipped the first EQ. This is the first EQ. Have taken a lot of low end, adding the top end. Now this is the second EQ, just kind of a way more broad. This is a tremolo. So I actually add a slight tremolo to the vocals just to give a little bit of movement. I also did it in my song, um, Definitely in the song uh, Without You. Uh, and I think I did it in another song. I can't remember off the top of my head. But it gives just a little bit. I mean, you can see it's only 4% out of 100%. And lastly, we have a big echo going through on these main vocals uh, with, with the Replica XT. So this is without, with everything turned off. And I'm going to delete this so I don't turn it on by accident. This is without anything. Feels like running out of time. Now everything turned on. And remember, you're hearing it through my speakers, through the microphone, you're not actually hearing the, the clean mix. Feels like running out of time. I'm driving 95. Got something on my mind to tell. Without the echo. Oh, you stop and read it every sign. Don't think about it. And there you go. That's a little lesson on my vocal chain. Uh, you're going to have it to do it differently based on, on your vocals. But what I typically do is actually, this is a really cool tip. I'll show you one last thing. Really cool tip inside of Logic. I don't know how it works in other programs, but you can go to this top right thing and you can go see your music, your folders. Uh, this is my music folder personally right here. Um, let me move this over a little more. So you can see, I'll go to a different track. I'll go to like all night, uh, click all night. It'll open up the project right here. So you could see the all night project while I'm still in Forever Found. And then you can actually bring in that track. So here's a vocal. I'm going to bring in the plugins. I don't need the content, but I'm going to bring in the plugins. I'm going to add it from here. And now this vocal right here, this vocal chain that I had from all night, a different song of mine can be, um, it is brought into this other project. So that's how I kind of, uh, use the same sound or same, what's it called? Uh, chain inside of different songs. I can pick a different song right here. If I wanted to, I could go right here. I could go to say, uh, Christmas oh, or let's do uh, no, let's do don't wait. Say I want the vocals for, oh, that, that's not, I just imported the song. That's not what I wanted to do. That's funny. Let me see if I, oh, my bad. What happened? Logic just quit on me. But you get the point. You can check, just pick any song you want. So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed that little <laughs> tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video. We'll end it right there because Logic just decided to quit. Have a great day. God bless. I hope that helped and peace out.